hello guys welcome you all back to our channel so today we are going to complete a prerequisite super badge for another super badge we are going to take up this challenge which is nothing but a multi-factor authentication on single sign-on setting super badge unit so let's get started so guys in order to complete this super badge also we need our developer edition so we are going to install our developer edition first Once you get this page, fill out all the details given here. So you should use different username for this. So I'm going to check this checkbox and sign me up. So guys, you will receive a mail in order to verify your developer edition. It will take nearly 10 minutes to get sign up and receive mail. We have to wait until then. Yeah, we have successfully received this mail now. We are going to verify this account. Before that, I am just going to copy this username. And I am clicking on verify account. So now I am going to just change my password. and security question change password so once we have successfully logged into lightning page we are getting back to our challenge scroll down and click the three dots over here and click connect org Just paste the username which you have copied over there and password. So I am just logging in. Hello. Yes, save it. Now we are all ready to set this challenge now. And we can take this up. Let's launch the playground now. Scroll down and click on launch. Now we are going to user. Click on users. We are going to click on this Morphe. Just click on edit. Scroll down for symbol sign on information. So here we are going to provide a federation ID. So we can give whatever username over here. Click on save. now click on single sign on settings click on that now get into edit option and click both checkbox over here and save now click on new and get back to our challenge you just need to copy this and paste it over here for receiver we are going to give this copy and paste and this is 2.0 SAML version now we are going to choose file for that we are going to download that file over here click on download the identity provider certificate So once it get downloaded over here, get back to our playground and choose file. 
click the downloaded version and open and give RSA SHA1 and association contains the federation ID from the user object for identity provider login URL we are going to just copy this and paste it over here and for entity ID we are going to choose my domain over here click on my domain and we are just going to copy current my domain url copy this and paste it over here and just type https colon and double slash click on save so now we are going to create and set a permission for that search for permission click on permission sets and go back to our challenge and just copy this click on new and paste it over here click on save so just scroll down over here and click system permissions click edit so we are going to check one checkbox here which is nothing but a single sign on enabled check it out and scroll up save click on save again now we are going to assign this for Murphy so click on manage assignment then add assignment so select Murphy, check it over here and click on assign and done. Go to my domain click on my domain and we are going to add it over here under policies so click on the first checkbox and save again we need to scroll down and click on edit for authentication configuration now I'm going to check this checkbox for Axiom SSO test and save now we are going to generate a SAML response so go back to challenge and click on this link SAML identity provider and test click on a generate SAML response now we are going to select 2.0 version federation ID we are going to give the ID which we have given on single sign on setting ok federation ID is not here so we are going back to user and click on Morphe so here is our federation ID so we are going to just copy this and paste it over here and for your rock you up and recipient URL we are going back to user again no, sorry my domain and just copy this so we are going to provide this prefix to both HTTP as yes, over here and entity ID will be same of recipient URL so you just copy this and paste it over here 
yeah i think we are all done so now click on request sample response and login So yeah guys we have successfully logged into lightning experience so now we are just going to close this tab and single sign on and my domain all tabs and now we are again going to launch this in order to log in as an admin and now we are going to create a permission set so just copy this and search for permission set click on that new and just paste that over here and click on save for now scroll down and click on system permissions click on edit and here we are going to search for multi-factor authentication for user interface login so click on the checkbox and scroll up save click on save again So now you click on manage assignments add assignment and we are going to check this checkbox for draw champion now we are going to assign it click on done so hopefully we have completed all the first three challenges together so let's check accept yeah guys we have passed our first challenge so now check our second challenge So guys in order to save our time I am just skipping this fourth challenge as we have already done about Salesforce Authenticator in our previous video. So that I will provide previous video link in our description so do check that. And from next to super bad join we are going to see along with what are all the possible error that we can expect from the super badge and solution for that. So guys don't forget to subscribe our channel see you on next super badge until then bye bye.